Hey everybody, I'm here in my Oculus home and um, it's taxing my machine because I have so many objects in it. But I recently started experimenting with downloading custom, custom models into home. Not the models that they give you for spending time messing around in VR, but ones that you download from an external website. In my case, I'm going to be showing you how to download and import these models from Sketchfab. And what started this is I found a, uh, a post on Reddit the other day that linked out to a Google Drive that let you download a zip of a whole bunch of models and there were some questionable ones in there so if you see those let's not judge uh, but it was interesting the way that it all worked now these had all already been cleaned so they just worked when you went to place them in your house there wasn't a problem but when you download from Sketchfab it's different usually they're way too big uh, I downloaded a um, what was I think it was a TV it was a it was the original version of that TV right there and it was almost as big as the entire house and it had to be shrunk down so how do you do that not only that in order to import models into your library in order to use them in your house they have to be they have to have a GLB extension and most of the five most of the um, models on Sketchfab don't have that extension so how you can how can you do the conversion and then how can you scale them in order to have them fit inside your house and so before we get to that I just wanted to show you some of the ones that I have here and again my other houses don't jump around like this because there's barely anything in them but I have really taxed this house this is my house for experimenting my oculus home I mean look I went crazy with the lights there right and there's just objects everywhere and so it's just it's right on the verge in fact if we look here you can see that it's it's verging between mediocre and poor performance and my my PC is pretty beastly so it really says something but anyway, I just thought, you know, I'd show you very quickly. I have this black and orange couch. That's my favorite combination of colors. I love this couch now. It's my favorite object in the whole place. Uh, that was part of the original download. But the gumball machine here and the TV there and these candelabras here were not part of that original download. I had to download them separately from Sketchfab and import them. So how did I do that? And if you want to import models, how do you do that? Well, first of all, let's take a walk over to Sketchfab and see what they have available. So here we are at Sketchfab, and I'm actually going to be uh, downloading this rusty metal cabinet. I've already done it. I've already downloaded it. But just to show you, and so I don't lose my place, I'm going to open this link in a new tab. And Sketchfab is pretty nice because it allows you to preview the model right before you download it. So you can take a look around, go like this, go like this, do this number here. Uh, one other thing I should add is a lot of models on Sketchfab cost. You have to pay for them. And some of them are pretty expensive. I've seen them $45, $49. But many of them are free to download, and there will just be a download button here. I've already done that, by the way. So if we, um, if we take a look at my desktop... You can see here it says rusty metal cabinet and that's the one we're going to be working with but if we go back to this it gives you information about the model and i actually i think i did a search for free downloads and that's what it came up with it's sort of like it's got this youtube thing where it's got you know other relevant things on the on the side so anyway when you click on download it gives you these options original format here this is fbx um, and you can see here it said he used uh, Maya and Substance Painter. Or Auto Converted Format, GLTF. This is the one you want to use, not this one. You want to use GLTF because these can be converted into GLBs. So download that and it will download this zip file. Once you've downloaded that zip file, if you do, I use 7-zip, I just find it very easy and it does its thing. And if you open up here, you will now see that you have a scene with a GLTF extension, a scene with a BIN extension, and the textures folder that has all the textures. Some of these have a lot of textures in them. This one only has four. And what you want to do here is go to this site glb-packer.glitch.me and I will put the link to this in the description down below. So let me uh, let me give it one of these here. And all you need to do 
is I actually have three monitors, but for recording purposes, it's it's not not terribly constructive to use all three. So what you want to do here is just select all of these and drag them straight to the GLTF to GLB packer like that. And you'll get this, a file called out.glb. And there it is, just like that. Now, what do you do with it there? If you go into your documents folder, you should have an Oculus Home folder and you should have an import folder. And I believe you can just create one if it's not there. Rename the out.glb file to something sensible. In our case, we'll say rusty cabinet. And then drag it over. Very easy. Now let's go back to home and see if it's there. Okay, so we're back in home, and look, my textures are, are really struggling. My poor textures. Anyway, we're back in home, and if we bring up the My Imports menu that you can see over here, let's scroll down to R and see what we come up with. Whoop, too far. There it is. Rusty cabinet. And by the way, these have to be validated. I'm not exactly sure what the process is, but what will happen is when you grab a new model, it will it will um, be encased in this in this cube for a moment until it is. So, hey, there are my textures. Look at that. I feel better now. Until it is um, until it's I don't know. It's validated or uploaded or something. I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. But once that happens, the cube that it's in will disappear, and then you can place it wherever you want. So let's let's grab it and see if it's the right size. That's the most important thing. Okay, so as you can see, it's not. And similar to what I mentioned before, some of these things are way too big. And it's actually standard that they're too big. And so there's no way this is going to fit. And we have to figure out uh, how it is we're going to shrink it down so that it can fit inside the house. So let's put it away. And that also did a lot of damage. Look at that. She's practically destroyed the place. All right. So luckily, though, we have our undo button there. So the way that we are going to shrink it down is by using another website uh, and let's go there. So this site that we're going to use is 3js.org backslash editor and I believe that you can just drag the file over. Yes. <clears throat> this one's especially big. This is abnormally huge. but. Anyway, over here you can see scale, and they're all at one. We need it to be much less than one, clearly. By one, they must mean one million. So we just click and drag to the left, click and drag to the left, click and drag to the left. And again, you know, I mean, honestly, it's hard to know. When it, where are we, 60? Let's go down to, we're going down to 40. And so is this the right size? Is it too big? Is it too small? I have no idea. It's just uh, some... It's just the way we have to experiment. And then when you've got the size that you want to try, move over to File, and then Export GLB, and it exports this scene.glb file. So what I do in this case, or at least what I've started doing, is I just call it the same thing, Rusty Cabinet. I drag it over. it gets replaced. For some reason the size went up. I'm not sure why that is. And let's go back into home and try the size. Hopefully the new rusty cabinet will be there. So here we are back in home. Again, my poor textures are suffering. Here we are back in home. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, there we go. And let's see what we have. Now we have another rusty cabinet. There's two of them, even though we only had one original file. And I believe that's because um, it stores an index, I think. I'm not exactly sure what the reason is for that. But we can delete one of these, so we'll come back to it. So let's grab this new rusty cabinet and see if it's the right size. If by shrinking it down to, what did we do, 40? If it made it small enough, if it's still too big or too small.
it's still way too big. All right, we'll shrink it down again. But let me also mention that you can delete a, an object that you have. This one's too big, obviously, so we don't need it. And so if we do, um, I believe it's B, yes, you can say remove upload. Click that and it will be deleted, just like that. So let me go back and shrink it again and see what we can get, see what we can get going. So do you want to hear something funny? I recorded the entire end of this video without bringing Oculus Mirror up, and so it was just me talking over an image of my desktop. So I'm re-recording it. It wasn't that long anyway. <clears throat> but I wanted to show you here that I shrunk the file cabinet down to .015, and that's what I got. This little teensy tiny file cabinet. I love it, actually. I'm going to hang on to it. But I thought that was pretty amusing. And so I, I'm sure that I'll find a use for it somewhere, but that's what I ended up with. I then went and did, um, I moved it up to, I believe, 0 0.025, I think it was, 0 0.025. And I ended up with this guy, Rusty Cabinet Medium. That's what I called it. I wanted to keep them, I wanted to start keeping them separate so I knew which one was which. And I don't know why it got, it got, I don't know what the word is, why well, it got squished like that. Now it's really narrow. It's got a pretty interesting kind of zombie hospital filing cabinet kind of thing to it, so I like it. But this is what it looks like now. And, you know, it can just be placed like any other object. It even contours to the wall. So that's pretty nice. You know, something else I thought I would mention is that the whatever objects that you have imported in this way into your uh, into your home when you first start it up they they um, they're like digitized into existence it's a pretty cool effect that they have going on so anyway I hope that was helpful it's a pretty neat thing to be able to do and it gives you so many more options I mean there's lots and lots of models that you can download from Sketchfab uh, in order to decorate your house beyond what it is oculus gives you and you know I mean, there's a lot of opportunity even with what they do give you. So you can see that there's, there's even further you can take it. You have to be careful about going crazy because otherwise you'll, you'll start to have your house, um, you know, jump around like mine's doing. Speaking of that, you want to be sure not to download models that are too big. And I don't mean big just in size like the file cabinet was, but I believe that there is a limit of 15 megabytes for a model to be used in Oculus Home. And some of the models that are available on Sketchfab are really big. Uh, they're big in size. And so I've tried a couple that were 25 megabytes, 30 megabytes, and they didn't work at all. Not only did they um, have trouble loading, but they didn't load textures and they didn't look right anyway. Never mind if they were too big, they didn't look right anyhow. So um, again, I will, um, if I'm able to find the uh, original post that that allowed me to download all the original models uh, from the Google Drive then I will post that I will also post links to the I will also post links to the site that I use the one for converting to a GLB and for resizing and this was based this whole tutorial was based off what I learned uh, from a reddit post itself and so I will link to that in the discussion as well so I hope this was helpful I hope you're able to use it to make your Houses look exactly the way that you want, uh, that they can all look unique, and they can all look different, and they can be a fun place to be. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.